It's really hard to believe what suddenly collapsed under Alaska tonight. Something so surprising that even experts and people living there are shocked. There's more serious weather worries from the east coast all the way to Alaska. Some of that prompting a state of emergency in southeastern Tennessee. A massive ocean floor collapse near the Aleutian Trench has just been confirmed, sending shockwaves through the scientific community. Beneath the frigid reaches of the North Pacific, where storm-lashed waves shroud the horizon and volcanic islands dot the ocean's restless surface, a hidden rupture has revealed itself, changing what we thought we knew about the edge of North America. It is here, at the Aleutian Trench, that the seafloor has fractured and folded in silence for millennia. Its movements invisible from shore, and only glimpsed by the rare few who venture to its profound depths. Now, with seismic sensors pulsing and remote submersibles beaming back images never before seen, a new chapter unfolds. Scientists have uncovered a collapse along the southern slope of the Aleutian Shelf. A submarine landslide of staggering scale, sculpted in the cold and darkness just 10 nautical miles offshore. Could this be the moment the seafloor itself triggers a chain reaction? Are we standing at the edge of a geological event powerful enough to reshape coastlines and rewrite history? As water recedes along Alaska's remote coastlines following a powerful 7.3 magnitude earthquake, and with recent tsunami warnings still echoing in memory, communities are asking the same chilling question. Is the danger truly over, or has it only just begun? Around Sandpoint and the scattered settlements of the Aleutian Ark, the Earth itself is trembling. And beneath those restless waters, the landscape is shifting, home to thousands of newly discovered species and to the unstoppable machinery of tectonic change. But what has truly happened beneath the ocean's armoured surface? What secrets are still buried in the trench's shadow? And what dangers rise as the ground below us descends beyond reach? Could hidden fractures be preparing to unleash another collapse? Is this just the first warning of something far larger? Something that could send shockwaves across the entire Pacific? Chapter 1 Mapping the Veiled Abyss For all its unforgiving beauty, Alaska's coast is wreathed in uncertainty. A frontier where every wave might hide a story untold. It is a place defined as much by mystery as by map. Only about 40% of the seafloor around Alaska has ever been thoroughly charted, leaving more than half unmeasured, its contours unresolved even by satellite. The remaining stretches of the Aleutian frontier, both around these islands and across the broader reaches of the American Ocean, remain an enigma, vast, layered, and until recently, undisturbed. Within this uncertain territory lies the Aleutian Trench, one of the planet's deepest furrows, gouged along the junction where the Pacific Plate dives downward, sliding beneath the North American mass. The trench is a gateway to the planet's mantle, its flanks marked by earthquakes and active volcanoes, symbolic of the slow, powerful shifting of crustal plates. The surrounding slopes, cloaked in perpetual darkness and crushing cold, have for centuries been considered inaccessible, except to the most advanced technology. Against this daunting backdrop, the confirmation of a massive ocean floor collapse emerges as a landmark event one whose implications resonate far beyond a single scientific report. Using arrays of deep-sea sensors, sonar mapping and submersible cameras, researchers have illuminated a submarine landslide of colossal dimensions sprawling along the southern slope of the Aleutian Shelf, nearly 10 miles offshore, in a region almost untouched by prior exploration. These revelations offer a double-edged wonder. On the one hand, awe at the scope of what is still unknown beneath the waves. On the other, the realization that such dramatic changes can occur without warning in the very foundations of our continent. 
What else might be shifting below? Unseen, yet immense. Chapter 2 Chain of Tremors Unleashed No story of collapse upon the ocean floor stands alone. Instead, it is woven into a larger narrative of seismic upheaval. A tale written in tremors, repeated over eons, and now felt anew in Alaska's trembling ground. It was a Thursday morning when sensors across the Aleutian Islands recorded a 7.3 magnitude earthquake, one of the most powerful to shake the region in recent years. The energy radiated outward, stirring concern along distant coasts. For residents of Sandpoint, Unalaska, and other communities that cling to the Aleutian chain, the warning was immediate. Water began to recede, a ghostly prelude to the arrival of a tsunami. This event was not isolated. Aftershocks rumbled, among them a 4.0 tremor that kept nerves taut across the archipelago. These were not the gentle tremors to which locals had become accustomed, but marked reminders of the region's ongoing tectonic activity. And with each pulse came new evidence, suggesting that changes were not confined to the visible landscape above, but to the immense depths below. Amid the swirl of earthquake reports, the puzzle of the collapsing seafloor became clearer to scientists watching for anomaly patterns. Sonar reflections hinted at disturbance, Bathymetric maps showed sudden contours where none had been before, and distant instruments recorded subtle changes in ocean current behavior. Confirmation came only with direct observation. Remotely operated vehicles dispatched to the area, their cameras revealing seafloor cracks and evidence of recent substantial movement. How do such hidden catastrophes unfurl their consequences? When the ocean's basement folds and slides, the release of energy can send water racing toward the shore, sometimes as mere ripples, sometimes as destructive waves. In this volatile region, where the Earth's crust twists and heaves, such risks are not distant possibilities, but a part of daily existence. With each tremor, each new landslide, the balance is rewritten, the risks recalculated. Could these interconnected events herald a greater disturbance yet to come? Is the Aleutian Trench storing more potential energy, poised on the threshold of release? Chapter 3 Deep Sea Collapse Anatomy The mechanics of the recently revealed ocean floor collapse are as humbling as they are formidable. Unlike landslides on land, where rock and debris tumble noisily down exposed slopes, the submarine slide unfolds unseen, its violence muffled beneath miles of water. Yet the forces involved remain colossal. Along the southern Aleutian Shelf, the collapse bears all the hallmarks of catastrophic slope failure. A wall of sediment, rock and water-saturated mud shearing away, plunging into darkness at the continent's edge. Its origin lies in fragile equilibrium ancient deposits held together for millennia, until a 7.3 magnitude earthquake shattered their hold. The scars are vast. Deep trenches radiate outward, debris fields stretch for miles, and immense boulders, some the size of houses, now rest at the foot of the slope. The event took mere moments, yet its imprint will remain for centuries. Across Earth's oceans, such collapses have triggered tsunamis, swift, unpredictable, and devastating. And now, the Aleutians remind us, these are not relics of the distant past, but active threats, alive beneath our feet. If a single collapse can redraw the seafloor in silence, what might it mean for those living within reach of its aftershocks? Chapter 4 Life Thrives in Abyss Beneath the chaos of shifting mud and fractured stone, a revelation emerges. Life, thriving where none should exist. In the crushing dark of the Aleutian Trench, researchers have uncovered a hidden realm of almost miraculous vitality. What they found was described as unbelievable. Communities of marine life flourishing in the very pockets most hostile to survival. Thousands of species, many unknown to science, 
move and feed among landslide debris and jagged outcrops. Translucent crustaceans sift for nutrients in the silt. Ghostly anemones cling to fractured stone. Each life form adapting to a world where sunlight has never reached. Some thrive on the raw edges of collapse, feeding on nutrients exposed by destruction. Others burrow deep, carving fragile tunnels into unstable slopes, living between survival and annihilation. Here, creation and destruction are inseparable. A single landslide may erase whole colonies, yet in its aftermath, seed entirely new ecosystems. From the cameras and sensors, data flows upward, but so does awe, proof that even at Earth's rawest frontier, life finds a way. But can such fragile creatures endure if collapse becomes constant? Or are we witnessing only a fleeting interval in a longer, more dangerous cycle? Chapter 5 Tsunami and Coastal Insecurity the confirmation of a catastrophic submarine landslide has stirred unease across Alaska's coasts. Here, earthquakes are both feared and familiar, but it is their secondary effects – tsunamis, coastal flooding, unstable ground – that often deliver the greatest toll. Already, residents have watched as the waterline receded – a subtle, chilling signal. That retreat is no curiosity. It can be the first sign of water returning with deadly force. A tsunami born of the shifting seafloor. When the 7.3 magnitude quake shook the Aleutians, sirens wailed from sand point to scattered villages. The warning passed, but the memory lingers. Echoes of past disasters where the first wave struck without mercy. What transforms a submarine landslide from scientific note to existential threat is its unpredictability. A sudden collapse of ocean floor, triggered by quake or pressure, can hurl walls of water shoreward, and each event is unique. Its magnitude dictated by slope, depth, and hidden fractures beneath the waves. Even when no great tsunami follows, the consequences remain. Sediment clouds choke shallows, erosion reshapes coasts, and marine infrastructure, ports, Cables, pipelines, can suffer unseen damage. The aftershocks of collapse ripple through both nature and human life. How do people brace against what cannot be seen, when the threat itself emerges from miles below, in darkness only glimpsed by sonar and ROVs? Can preparedness ever be complete, when the most powerful forces rise not from the sky, but from the abyss? Chapter 6 Unfinished Map of Dangers Perhaps the greatest revelation in the wake of the Aleutian ocean floor collapse is not the event itself, but the realization that so little is known of what lies beneath. Despite the best efforts of oceanographers, about 60% of Alaska's seafloor remains uncharted. Its features, hazards, and even its wonders left to conjecture. The Aleutian region in particular is a realm where technological limits meet nature's formidable resistance. Every expedition sent to these depths yields surprise. The recently discovered landslide is described as one of the most significant discoveries in recent memory. Not merely for its scale, but for what it suggests about the frequency of such events. How many similar scars exist? hidden out of sight, their danger as yet unrealized. What immense collapse zones lie in the unmeasured blank spaces around the Aleutian Arc and throughout the Northern Pacific? The painstaking process of unveiling these secrets continues. High-resolution sonar must be towed across rough seas, and submersibles brave crushing pressures to relay their findings. Each mission, each scan, extends the borders of our knowledge by a fractional amount, gradually replacing speculation with data. But as the ocean's mysteries recede, replaced by the clarity of observation, a new humility takes root. For every feature mapped, a hundred more remain unresolved. The confirmed collapse along the Aleutian Shelf is a testament to how much remains unseen. 
and how easily the ground beneath us can change. Will the next seismic event reveal more such landslides? Or worse, add to their number? Are the margins of the continent still as stable as we imagine? Or is the era of great undersea collapse only just beginning? Chapter 7 Wider Pacific Tectonic Web While the Aleutian Trench commands attention, its story is only one part of a greater tapestry binding Alaska to the geology of the entire Pacific Rim. This is a land shaped by collision, subduction, and the relentless migration of continents. A place where every earthquake links to a wider chain reaction, and every collapse shifts balances extending far beyond a single event. Geologists now look ever more closely at connections. The Aleutian Trench is more than a line on a map. It is part of a global system of stresses, faults, and energy exchange. Earthquakes as powerful as 7.3 on the magnitude scale do not occur in a vacuum. They can, in rare circumstances, affect adjacent regions, altering underground stresses or subtly changing the contours of the seafloor hundreds of miles away. The receding coastlines, triggered by tsunami warnings, show that all of Alaska's shores have been shaped by forces that operate on both local and planetary scales. In the context of the confirmed submarine landslide, these intertwined hazards mean that no single event can be wholly understood in isolation. Each collapse, quake, and tremor forms a node in a network of ongoing change. One that includes not only the trench, but the volcanoes fringing the coast, the ocean currents masking the scars, and the deep sea life that flourishes between disaster and recovery. Is it possible then, that these events are the first rumblings of a greater tectonic upheaval? Or can modern science provide enough insight into these interactions to give warning before disaster strikes again? Chapter 8 Beneath the Surface – Future When the waves of the North Pacific grow calm again and the alarms fall silent, the Aleutian Trench resumes its enigmatic vigil, profound restless, and newly revealed. The confirmed collapse on the southern shelf is not an event to be consigned to fleeting headlines. It is a shift, with consequences for modern life and ancient tradition alike. Coastlines have adjusted in hours, communities have watched the sea recede in concern, and scientists have struggled to keep pace as the very ground mutates beneath a veil of water. The revelation is a reminder of our proximity to forces we can neither fully predict nor ever truly master. All along the Aleutian chain, under the feet of residents and the habitat of marine life, the slow process of subduction, collapse, rearrangement and renewal continues. The trench below is only partly mapped. The risks it conceals will be debated, measured and prepared for, but never erased. In the interplay between disaster and possibility, between calamity and resilience, one lesson persists. To dwell here, at the edge of the world, is to accept uncertainty and learn from it. To explore, measure and adapt is to claim one's part in the unfolding story. With further revelations sure to follow, one truth endures. Our most profound transformations, like the landslides hidden beneath the Aleutian waves, begin where light cannot reach, reshaping our reality before we even see the change. As the Aleutian Trench moves in silence, the only certainty is the persistence of wonder, vigilance, and above all, the mystery that still lies beneath. <laughs>